let's see if this works. One, two, three. Guess it can't work every time. Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here, and I'm back today for another Dollar Tree haul. Now, as always, I am very excited to show you everything I found, but real quick before I get into the haul, don't forget to subscribe to the squad. I would love to have you if you're already subscribed. Thank you so, so much. It really helps me out. And also, don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss when I upload a video. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. That way, you don't miss out on the new and exciting things I find at Dollar Tree and other stores I shop at. And that's all I have for today. So let's get into the haul. All right, guys. So I am in a new setting today yet again. Um, I'm bringing it back way old school. Like I'm talking when my videos were not great. Um, but I brought, I'm bringing it back to my bedroom um, to do this haul with you guys today. Kind of as a more kind of cozy, relaxed atmosphere. And I actually have a bunch of things that I want to share with you. They're all random, so they're not in any specific order, but um, really good things. So let me just show you what I found. So the first thing I found was this towel and it says shake it off with a salt and pepper shaker. And I thought this was really cute. It reminds me of actually the Taylor Swift song. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but the one song that she sings. Um, but this is what I picked up and it's a nice quality. So it's, it's like thinner. It's not like a great material, but if you want to use it as decor or something, it's good for that purpose. Also, I do dry my hands on it sometimes and it's not too bad. It's not like the microfiber ones where you try to dry your hands and uh, your hands don't feel dry at all. So this is perfect if you want to just, like I said, put it out as decor or actually use it to dry your hands. It's fine if you want to use it for that purpose. And then I found some really pretty picks for Christmas. So uh, this is the first one that I found and look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. It has um, the poinsettias on it, the gold, and then it has this gold like beading or I guess little berries on it with the, uh, the pine needles and then the pine cone. And I thought this was just so pretty to put into either a floral arrangement or if you want to make a wreath or whatever you want to do with this, this is really nice for a dollar. So I picked this up to use. I also really, really love these. So these are like holly berries, but they have little kind of like ice on them. Uh, like a frosted look and I think these are so pretty. They look real to me too and I like the way that they have like I said that icy look to them like they've been out in the snow. So I picked these up and I cannot wait to use these. I think they're just so pretty and I like just the simplicity of these so I picked those up. And then I picked up this one with the red poinsettias instead of the gold. So it's not like the gold one that I showed you. It's it's the same as the gold one I showed you, just red. So it has all of the same things on it. The uh, pine needles, the berries, and the red poinsettias and the pine cone. So these are super nice. And I will say that like with these berries, they kind of fall off a little bit. So just be careful when you're handling them because they kind of go everywhere. Um, and then I found this Christmas sign. So this was so cute to me. It says Mary, but the Y is a reindeer head. And I just thought that was really cute. I am so glad that I found this to DIY. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know if I want to paint it or if I want to try to glue like fabric on it. I'm not sure, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I think this is a really nice sign. It's that particle board and it actually says, it just says decor on it. But obviously you could do whatever you want with this. And I just think it's the cutest sign for a dollar. So I really, really love reindeer at Christmas time, reindeer and trees and the Christmas houses. They get me every time. So these are what I'm really into. So I'm glad I found that. And then I did pick up this little door hanger for Halloween. So I pick these up for every holiday. So I have them for every single one. And 
This is the Halloween one. I liked the purple. It has bats on it and I like the uh, purple and black together. They also have different colors. I believe green, maybe orange and things like that. But this is uh, really cute to me. So I picked this up. It kind of goes with that witchy theme I have going on. If you didn't see that, I did a decorate with me. So make sure you catch that video to see what I did um, for the Hocus Pocus theme in my living room. But that's why I picked the purple. And then I actually found these little pot holders. So I really liked these. I think these are super cute. And this is also purple. It says, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, you know it's Halloween. And I thought that was really cute. I was going to pick up the oven mitt too, but I feel like some of the oven mitts at Dollar Tree are kind of thin. So I didn't pick that up because I do have really nice ones. And I just wanted these to set pots on and stuff like that on the counter. So I thought this was really cute. So I picked that up. It comes with two for a dollar. So that was a good deal. This is kind of boring, but I picked up this six foot extension cord. I do have a lot of like plugs and stuff that I use around the house, especially with working from home. I need some extra cords and things like that. So I um, did pick this up and it's just a good price for a dollar if you're just using it for an extra little plug that you need instead of, you know, having to stretch out your cord or not reaching wherever you need it. So I did pick this up for that purpose. So that's good to have just on the side in case I need it. Um, I also picked up these ornaments. So I love these. They had these out last year, I believe. And these are the trucks with the little trees. And I think these are so cute and it comes in a four pack. So I picked these up. I'll probably just put them on my tree to be honest. I don't have any plans for DIY or anything like that. Although you definitely could use these for a DIY, but I thought those were so cute. So I picked those up because you know I love the truck. So I got those. And then I picked these little paddle ball, um, <laughs> little mini paddle ball things up. And these are what, uh, six pieces. And I actually picked these up just for like my daughter to mess around with if she gets bored and wants to like play with around with one of these. I probably will too, to be honest. Sometimes, you know, when you're just bored and you need something to do, I figured this would be fun to kind of maybe have a little paddle ball competition or something. Um, that's what it's come to these days, guys, as far as quarantine, I guess. But that's what we're going to do with those. And then I also found another one of those little kits. So this is a Rocket Blast uh, little science project thing. So this says you need one packet of baking powder. So I wonder, I don't know. It says one packet of baking powder, one film canister and then it doesn't really say anything about how to do it so it must like blast off like a rocket the other one I hauled if you didn't catch that um in the last video there was a volcano one as well that I picked up so I just picked this up for fun I thought I would give these to my nephews I think they'll have fun with these so I picked these up um for them and then I did pick up a DIY item so they actually have these wooden blocks and I picked these up because I want to do a little DIY for my sister um, because like I said, she's having another baby. So I thought I would kind of make them into blocks and put uh, the baby's name on it. And I think that will be really cute. So that was my plan for these. So that's why I picked these up. And she doesn't know yet. Hopefully she's not watching if you're watching, sorry. But um, it's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> So I'm going to DIY those and give those to her as a gift. And then I got this little scrunchie. Um, actually, my mom picked this up for my daughter, and I think it's so cute. It's got that, like, tie-dye look with the little bow, and I really like this. I think it just adds a little, like, cute addition to just a normal like ponytail I like when you wear like real high ponytails with the little bow I think that's I think that's adorable so I really like it and I like the colors on this and my daughter loves tie-dye so I think that's perfect for her and then I picked her up some of these bookmarks so these are really cute and they're really nice and she's always losing her bookmarks so I thought I would get her some extra ones it says um, one of them says love begins with you you make life beautiful and then do small things with great love it's really cute so that's what they look like 
and she reads a lot. So she reads every night and I pick those up specifically for her because like I said, she needs bookmarks a lot. So um, I pick those up as extras for her as well. I picked this up. So how cute is this? It says, hey, good looking. And it's so cute. It's just a little like makeup pouch uh, for travel or you can store things in it, whatever you want to do. Some of these two guys I use for my daughter's colored pencils and things like that. So these are great to put little storage things in. Also, she's got a few of these for school as far as like her pencils and pens and things like that. So these are good for that as well. But I thought this one was super cute. I will probably use this uh, for myself and put makeup in it when I am finally able to travel, I guess, but, uh, or when I'm comfortable, I guess, traveling. But this is what I picked that up for. And I think this is really cute. There's no glitter fallout or anything either. So just be aware of that. Don't, if you're worried about all the glitter, it's actually just on there where it doesn't actually come off at all. So that's definitely a plus. And I picked up these little barrettes. So how pretty are these? They're super sparkly and I just think they're really, really nice. I, I don't know, three for a dollar too. And they're the little like clips. So you don't have to like fuss with them. You can just kind of stick them in your hair. Let's actually see if I can, if what they look like, if I can get one out for you guys. So, all right. So if we just stick this in here like this, how does it look? <laughs> it is pretty. It's very pretty and I really like it. I think it's so nice for a dollar. I think it's really pretty. So you could also do this, kind of stick it wherever and that's what it looks like, but really pretty. I love that. So I'm really happy I picked those up. My daughter and I could probably share those. I definitely like that purchase. Those are really pretty. Um, also, I was able to find another little gift you can kind of put away for birthdays or Christmas, but this is by Creative Kids and it's a squeezy surprise. So add the beads and feel the squeeze, it says. So it must be like one of those stress ball things. And if you guys are familiar with Orbeez, it looks like there's Orbeez inside, unless these are real beads, but... I don't know. It says there's, oh no, it's actual plastic beads. So this is what it comes with on the inside. And you can squeeze these around and they feel like a stress ball with the beads inside. So that's pretty cool. So I got that to put away on the side just in case I want to put it in a stocking or something like that. I also was able to pick up these oil pastels for my daughter. So these are really cool for a dollar. I really like using oil pastels for artwork. If you've never tried it, I suggest it. It's a little messy, but if you're into like art or anything like that, these are great to have. And my daughter was super excited when I showed her that I got her these. I did open them at the store because I wanted to make sure that it was what I thought they were. So I um, opened them up, but I did take the package, obviously, that I opened. But that's what they look like on the inside. And they're like little crayons, but they're oil-based. And they're super cool to use for shading or things like that. They look a lot more vibrant. So I would suggest picking these up because this is a really good deal for a dollar. And you get 12 different colors. So that is a really great find and I'm really happy I found those. And then I was able to pick up these Christmas lights. So these are candy cane ones. If you guys can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but there's little candy canes inside. They had the red truck one and I cannot find them anywhere and it's driving me nuts. So they have the truck one, but they are all sold out and I was like digging through them to see if I could find at least one pack and I, I couldn't. So those went out really, really fast, which is why I always tell you guys when I'm shopping for Christmas, I know it's early, but you want to pick them up because they will be gone. Like I said, they're already out of these in the red truck. So if you like something, pick it up because you won't regret it when you have it later. And then you're trying to find it later if you didn't pick it up and it's not there. So trust me when I say if you see something you like, just grab it. Even if it's really early like Christmas, uh, definitely pick it up because it will be gone. Um, 
And now that I'm done with my spiel, here is the next thing. So I did find these really nice plates. Look at this. It says gather and they are the, the glass plates. So it's super nice. And I cannot believe that I found these there for a dollar. I didn't pick up the big plates because I showed you guys, if you didn't catch it in a Michaels haul, I picked up some chargers that have pumpkins around it. So I wanted to use that charger with a plain maybe white plate and then put these on top. And I think these are so nice, guys. If you see these, I highly recommend. So these are going to be used uh, for like a dessert or salad plate at Thanksgiving. So that's why I picked these up. And then I found another Spot the Difference book. I can't help it. I don't know what it is about these that I like. If I don't know. I maybe it's from when I'm younger, when I was younger and I liked doing these, but they're just spotting the difference in each picture. You kind of got to see like which what's the differences in each one, but they're pretty hard. So if you look, you you know, it's very hard to tell what the differences are, but I love doing these. I actually just asked my daughter to do them with me. I was like, "Can you please do these with me today?" So so we're going to try to do these and um, I don't know. I think it's just fun. It's something to pass the time, something to do together. So I'm going to do this with her later and that's all I have for today. So really good haul, really random, but um, I promise you there are some really great things that I have coming up as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned and hit the bell so that you don't miss when I post the next video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Thank you.